So I have to say I have a little bit of an obsession with gardening or addiction to gardening. That plant looks rotten. And this is chewed by the rat. This is a cutting of a Ipliplium, and it was um, dug. Ip, ip, um It was growing fantastically. However, um, it was being damaged by the squirrel in the yard and so what I what it been dug up for a few days already so what I'm doing is I just let it dry out a little bit and as you can see that it has it was over watered, which means that the it has rotting here so um, I let it sit and then it naturally heals it naturally heals itself by dry by drying up here. So now that it's completely healed, the roots is completely dry. What I'm doing is I'm going to put it in a pot. Now, my way of growing things and doing gardening is very unique because I have here in this container of soil, I have perlite. So I have one cup of perlite, two cups of uh, potting soil, and basically um, I'm a, I am mixing it up so that way it will um, be it will allow for places for the plant to drain because Ephelium is actually a cactus type plant so it needs a lot of um, it needs a lot of drainage and it doesn't need a lot of overwatering so if you overwater your plant um, it will actually rot at the bottom here and it will die out because my plant is not very healthy, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try to add more amenities for them. So I have here is banana, banana pills, and eggshells. I should use a bigger pot because I didn't think I had these much, this much um, things that I'm gonna add into the pot, but I did. So I'm gonna put some soil to the top of banana peelings and the eggs uh, shells to separate, to create a little cushion for the roots. And, um, I am basically going to plant this cutting again. It's actually raining and extremely cold outside, so so I am not going to be going outside. I have here is a mango seed that I'm going to try to grow on the side. And like it should be. I'm going to keep this like so and I'm gonna keep it near my window seal so like that I'm gonna put this like this in the window sill and I have a cup of orchid bark which I'm gonna insulate on top Okay, son. Look. 
Okay, so we're gonna that way to keep the moisture in and because I am gonna keep it indoor to keep it monitor um, to see if it goes back into health again I am going to want to put the bark on top of it Mom? 